So it's Emmy, and welcome to Made in Japan. Okay, dame. Koke is moss, and dama means ball. So we're making moss balls today. First, we need moss. So I've been growing moss in these little trays. See them right here? And all I did was, here's a good one was I went and gathered some moss and then I just put them in these little disposable trays you can get convenient trays here at the Japanese market everywhere and I just put a little bit of sphagnum moss you see that and a little bit of these little screening at the bottom and I just watered them and put them in a shady spot damn it I bought a couple containers at the 100 yen shop. So this one's like a typical Japanese bonsai container. A little hole at the bottom. Really disorganized. This sucks. <laughs> oh, maybe this won't work. I got these pliers, but I don't think that's going to work. Scissors. Scissors. Scissors would be good. This black mesh holes, and you cut it and you put it in the inside of your pots so you don't get soil everywhere. Short piece of wire. Two and a half inches. See that? Shorter and straighter this time. Let's try this. Through the Holes in the mesh, like so. Whole mesh, the whole thing goes through the bottom of the guy like that. Like that. And then we fold the legs flat. <clears throat> We're going to use this stuff. It's called Akedama. A lot of that will provide good drainage. So it looks like that. It's a lot like kibble, actually. Get that off my computer. God damn it. Now the mesh won't move. Okay, so now we fill our container with our akedama. Fill it up about that far. Compost. Put a little layer of this on top, and this will be kind of the substrate for our moss. No need too much, just a little. And you know what? Sphagnum moss doesn't hurt. Oh, sphagnum moss. I find this stuff at Michael's and hobby shops. This stuff is just moss, but dried. Um, this will be nice because um, it'll make it a little bit more acidic, a little bit more friendly for the moss. Alright. I told to take off some of this on the bottom here to encourage the moss to root let me turn this down here. And then you just seat the little moss guys into the new container. I have a bit of a gap right here and here, so let's see if we can patch that with some smaller pieces. Yeah. Happy little nest. So all I'm doing is just pressing pretty my finger. So this is what we have. Little guy of moss, isn't he cute? Um, give it a good dousing every couple of days. Make sure the water runs out at the bottom. And like I said, put it in a brightly lit area, but not um, not direct sun, because then you'll kill your moss, and that would suck. So, all right. Happy moss making. See you next time. Bye.